Come on. Mr. Skaggs, what do you guys want to talk about? How, how, uh, how, how, are, how are you dealing with this town? You guys all right? No, because for me, this is, hello, young lady. For, I just feel like this Hollywood is starting to get, I grew up in a, a junkyard in Jersey. And I feel like I came out here to, I've had enough. I think people sometimes end up here because they haven't experienced enough love or attention wherever they came from. I saw a guy get out of a BMW with a cape on and ask me what time it was, like he was a regular guy. You know, he was like, hey, dude. <laughs> You know what time it is? I was like, are you just gonna say that like you're not wearing a friggin' cape, man? <laughs> it's time to take the cape off. That's what time it is, you know? Or go back in time to 19th century England and help solve a crime. I feel like every time I sit down alone in this town, some lunatic who's been dying to talk about Jesus or the weather. You know these guys outside, right outside of this theater, they're like, ah, ah, ah. Try this. When you deal with the ah people, just say crazy stuff back. It works. They freeze. They don't know how to deal with it. Say wild stuff back. Guy came up to me outside. He goes, man, Jesus is coming. And I was like, bird in the hands, we're a two in the bush, apple juice. <laughs> and then the guy, and then the guy goes, and then the guy, Frank, the guy goes, no, I said, Jesus is coming. And I was like, how the hell am I supposed to eat soup without an envelope? I was like, ah! Because <laughs> two crazy people cancel one another out, man. That dude snapped out of it. He's like, sorry, my bad. I'm on my way back to work. My apologies. God bless. <laughs>